Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be talking about Walgreens Boots Alliance ticker symbol WBA. It's reporting its earnings this week, January 7th, and I'm going to be giving an or overview of this stock and this company and a SWOT analysis actually on the weaknesses and the strengths of this company and what opportunities does this company have in the future and also their threats. So I hope you guys know what Walgreens is. Um, if you don't know what Walgreens is, I'm not going to exactly tell, but here's a small description. Uh, you, you can feel free to pause the video and read this description. So uh, Walgreens is a really famous company in um, America and it's listed in the Dow Jones 30. So that's one of the major indexes in America, currently trading at around $30,000. So Walgreens, the bulls say, being the largest retail pharmacy with a vast network, WBA is able to reach 80% of their consumers in the U.S., which provides scale and cost advantages. Kroger's plans on improving CPG pricing should be a critical step in enabling Walgreens to increase the performance of the front-end operations. And the bears say with the new healthcare reforms and recent controversies with pricing transparency, Walgreens may see an increase in stock volatility pose a fundamental threat. So Walgreens has faced increasing pricing competition from competitors and online retailers for consumer commodity products. This increase has impacted front end growth and profits. So I also heard on the news that Amazon is uh, starting the online retail chains for pharmacy on their website. So they're coming into the pharma game. The revenue has been pretty much stable. They have a net gross margin of 20%. And their debt is not too high either. And uh, their SWOT analysis is that the new COVID testing and vaccination could mean an increase in customers. So think about that. More people are coming into your stores and they're wanting to order stuff and they want to get a vaccine. And then they see a chips packet next buy. So they buy the, the chips packet. So they're getting, uh, in the end, more footfall in their stores which will lead to more sales that's what i think but the threats are that they have increased competition for example amazon's entering the space and that might have them to lower their products the cost of their products um, their strengths is that they're able to successfully establish a low cost structure right now so they've partnered up with companies like fedex and they have nine thousand stores so they have fact um they have, they're skilled up pretty much and their weaknesses is that their profits are hit quite hard by the pandemic and they think it's going to continue till the H1 of uh, 2021. So their profits are going to be quite a lot impacted as a lot of people are staying home. Even though they have opened up online, a lot of people are still not leaving their houses. So one of the technical analysis and why I think the stock could have a good breakout is because the stock is trading under the 200-day EMA uh, resistance line. It's currently acting as a resistance, but it could become a support as well uh, if it breaks out. It's currently still at its March levels, I think, almost there in its March levels. So if their earnings is good, maybe they do a slightly, uh, slight dividend increase or something positive in the company, a stock buyback or something like that. We can see the stock go up a lot as it breaks the resistance and the owner of this company is also the ceo i'm pretty sure and he owns at least like a, i think a 20 percent stake in the company so it's quite a big stake in the company and the company's market cap if we go all the way back is only 30 billion right now 34 billion so that's pretty interesting and with the earnings coming up i'm not gonna be planning to do a short-term option i do have a, a leap for a long term, a call option, and I have some stock as well for Walgreens. So overall, in the long term, I'm pretty much bullish on the company. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is to raise awareness that the stock could break out, I guess, and there could be a possible breakout in the stock. So I think that'll be it for this video. It was a pretty quick video, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.